71 billionaires call Hong Kong home. With a total combined net worth of over a quarter trillion dollars, here's how they spend their billions. The richest man in Hong Kong is C.K. Hutchinson Holdings senior advisor and former chairman Lee Ka Shing, worth 36 billion in 2022. His nickname is Superman thanks to his business acumen, although his wealth should have given him the nickname Batman. His son Victor now heads the conglomerate, which is currently market capped at $28.36 billion, has more than 300,000 employees, and operates in more than 50 nations. Lee has always been an entrepreneur at heart. He started Chung Kong Plastics, named after the Yangtze River, in 1950 at age 21 with $6,500 in savings and loans from relatives. As the firm prospered from the sale of plastic flowers, it evolved into an investment company. Lee began to acquire property at such a rate that by the late 1970s, he became Hong Kong's leading private developer. He spends a respectable piece of his wealth on charity. His Lee Kaching Foundation has donated more than $3.3 billion, with more than 80% of it going to Greater China. The foundation is committed to the tune of $386.5 million to spreading Buddhism through its sprawling 500,000 square foot Sushen Monastery. He's also generous with his loyal staff, having bought his maid of 30 years a $191,000 apartment out of appreciation. With Hong Kong's housing boom, that modest place is now worth over $1.6 million. On his wrist, he keeps a $400 waterproof watch. He keeps a humble timepiece because he doesn't want to ever worry about losing or abusing it. Li Xiao Qi commands a $34.2 billion fortune. The 94-year-old billionaire stepped down as chairman of Henderson Land Development and was replaced by his two sons, Peter Li Kakit and Martin Li Kaxing, who took over as joint chairman and managing directors. Henderson is responsible for the International Finance Center, which is best known for that scene from The Dark Knight where Batman leaps from IFC 2 to IFC 1, by the way. Henderson Land Development also developed the luxury high-rise 39 Conduit Road, where they sold a five-bedroom duplex flat on the 68th floor of the 46-story building for $57 million. The price, equating to $9,200 per square foot, set the new world record for the most expensive apartment in 2009. Li Xiaoqi originally owned 60% equity of the site of the luxury building and sold it to the company for $225 million. Henderson Land Development created Beverly Hill, an upper-class private housing estate in Happy Valley, Hong Kong. It has 10 37-story residential blocks built at a very steep slope of Broadwood Road and Link Road. Lee remembers his humble roots, specifically the times of not being able to eat meat more than twice a month. He's donated more than $400 million towards education throughout his career, helping to pull others out of poverty. Real estate tycoon Cecil Chow, worth $2 billion, made international headlines when he offered $65 million to any man willing to marry his daughter Gigi. He even went in so far to juice it up to $180 million. Why? Gigi was already in a committed relationship with a woman named Chan. That's why, in defiance of her wealthy father's wishes, she married her partner in a civil ceremony. Cecil's offer still stands, perhaps in hopes his daughter will come around and give him the son-in-law he's always wanted. Any man willing to take Cecil's offer should remember the old saying, if you marry for money, you pay for it for the rest of your life. I learned that on The Real Housewives. Henry Cheng and family are fully loaded with its collective $26.4 billion fortune. Henry inherited his father Chen Yu Tung's title as chairman of the family flagship firms Chow Tai Fook Jewelry and New World Development in 2012. His children, Sonia and Adrian, went to Harvard. Harvard costs an average of $78,200 a year to attend. The Ivy League education gave Sonia the skills she needed to become CEO of Rosewood Hotel Group, which the Cheng family acquired for $220. $9 million, and allowed Adrian to handle the CEO and executive vice chairman position of New World Development, which has investments in excess of $16.5 billion. Other than that, other than that, Henry donated $300 million for cybersecurity training in China. The Lee siblings are known for their vast $18.9 billion portfolio and oyster sauce, which they sell in over 100 countries and have 6,000 employees worldwide. The service is manufactured by LKK Group, which takes in $3 billion in annual revenue and an estimated $150 million in profits. The five Lee siblings, Charlie, Sam, Eddie, David, and Elizabeth, are children to the late Lee Mantat, 
the former chairman of Lee Kum Kee Group, who died in 2021 at age 91. Peter Wu, an $18.7 billion man, was the chairman of property developer Wheel Lock & Co., which has a market cap of $15 billion these days. Peter was also chairman of its main subsidiary, Wharf Holdings, before stepping down in 2015. Some of the notable group's holdings include the Times Square Shopping Mall in Hong Kong, Marco Polo Hotels, iCable Communications, WTT, and the Lane Crawford Department Stores. Wu started his career in 1972 with Chase Manhattan Bank in New York in the 70s, where he met his future wife Bessie, daughter of the shipping tycoon Y.K. Powell, who was worth $13.4 billion. When T.K. Powell passed on, he left control of his businesses to his four daughters, and their husbands took the respective Helms. With that story, you can see a little clearer now why Cecil Chow wanted his daughter married. Joseph Lau, worth $13.7 billion, is the former chairman of property developer Chinese Estates. He's also an avid art collector. He gained international repute for buying an Andy Warhol Mao painting for $17.4 million, setting a new record for work in that series. Lau also paid $39.2 million for Paul Gauguin's 1892 Te Poi Poi painting. Lau's collection is worth over $1 billion. He has a love for jewelry as well. He paid $28.5 million for a pink stone at Christie's in Geneva, and the following night, he purchased the 12-carat blue moon diamond at Sotheby's for an obscene $49 million. Money means nothing if you don't have your health, though. In 2017, Joseph Lau transferred most of his wealth to his wife and son, citing serious health issues as the reason. Kuang Siu Hing inherited a large chunk of her $13.2 billion fortune from her late husband, Sun Hung Kai Properties co-founder Kwok Tak Seng, who died in 1990. She served as the company's chairman from 2008 until 2011 and remains its biggest shareholder. Kuang effectively controls about 41.53% of, of SHK Properties' shares through a family trust. Its market cap being $44.5 billion means her shares are currently worth $18,480,850,000. The Kuang family matriarch and her two surviving children, Raymond and Thomas, have lost $2 billion of their collective fortune just three years ago, due in part to the anti-government protests in Hong Kong. Still, under Kuang Siu Hing's leadership, Sun Hung Kai went on to build some of Hong Kong's most recognizable buildings, including the 118-story International Commerce Center. The $3.85 billion build is the highest skyscraper in the city. The 93-year-old casino mogul Lui Chi Wu has a net worth of $12.8 billion and hasn't shown any signs of slowing down yet. Louis is the chairman of Galaxy Entertainment Group Limited, an investment holding company with a juggernautish market cap of $38.6 billion. They manage casino games and provision of hospitality and related services. The Hong Kong headquartered company has four hotels in Macau, Star World Hotel, Galaxy Macau, Broadway Macau, and the Grand Waldo Hotel. Its big three casinos are the Waldo Casino, the President Casino, and the Rio Casino. Louis Chi Wu is the founder, chairman, and managing director of KWA Group, which currently has a market cap of $9.4 billion. Joseph Tsai is the Canadian-Taiwanese co-founder and executive vice chairman of the Alibaba Group, worth $9.1 billion today. Joseph is Alibaba's number two individual shareholder, after chairman Jack Ma. He had some fairly humble beginnings. Tsai accepted an initial salary of only $50 a month from Jack Ma when the pair first met in 1999. American basketball is a big deal in China. Joseph Tsai bought 49% of the Brooklyn Nets in 2018 and the remaining 51% in 2019. At that time, the franchise was worth $2.35 billion and has since climbed $850 million in value to $3.2 billion. He did a lot better than Jay-Z did with the squad, who purchased 1 15th of 1% of the team for $500,000 in 2004 and sold his shares to NBA retiree Jason Kidd for $350,000 not too long after. Mr. Tsai doesn't use up any of the precious $5,000 a person premium experience luxury box tickets at the Barclays Center. Oh no. He likes it courtside like Spike Lee, using up a seat worth $2,000 to a paying customer. Hey, did you know Spike has spent upwards of $10 million on New York Knicks tickets? He's probably Madison Square Garden's number one customer. 
Since they occasionally play at the same venue as the Nets, Joseph bought the WNBA's New York Liberty for $14 million from the Madison Square Garden Company. The entire WNBA league itself is worth $1 billion these days. Joseph spent a fair amount of cash on his Ivy League education, having forked over $200,000 in tuition and expenses for his undergraduate degree in economics and East Asian studies, as well as his law degree from Yale University, no less. Tsai rents a pair of Hong Kong homes for $112,000 a month on a six-year lease. It's peanuts compared to the $157 million he dropped on his Manhattan penthouse, though. The 11,000-square-foot domicile sits on top of 220 Central Park South, the Alabama limestone-clad 950-foot-tall 118-unit tower gives gorgeous views of Central Park. The building has stellar amenities, including an attended lobby, valet parking, an 82-foot saltwater swimming pool, and a collective wine cellar. There's also private dining rooms for when you don't want people dirtying up your carpets, a library, an athletic club with a juice bar, a basketball court, a golf simulator, and a children's play area. Our titular titan Joe Tsai bought two units on the 60th and 61st floor. His company sells double the volume of goods Amazon does, about $1 trillion worth. So yeah, he can't afford New York real estate. Joseph and wife Clara Wu Tsai's main res is a $10 million, 2.37 acre estate in La Jolla, California. That 9,700 square foot home is where he stays when he wants to check up on his other sports team, the San Diego Seals Lacrosse Club, which he bought for $10 million. Lacrosse is Joe's alma mater sport. Living large on Hong Kong's billionaire's row is Chinese magnate Jack Ma. His $26 billion Alibaba fortune affords him a $191 million mansion. On 22 Barker Road sits a 9,900 square foot bungalow slash villa style property. From any one of his four balconies in the four-story home, he can take in a 270 degree sea view of Victoria Harbor. The property has a glorious 20,000 square foot garden to wander around in. Barker Street is one of the most expensive streets on earth, but not even the most expensive street in Victoria Peak. That title belongs to Conduit Road, which has had 10 residents sold for over $25 million. $191 million does seem a little high for this place, as that amount of cash would buy you the Bel Air mega mansion called The One for $126 million and leave you with some serious change left over. But Hong Kong is another world when it comes to real estate. Take $1.9 million. In California, it buys you a 2,102 square foot, four bedroom, three bathroom house in the affluent Sherman Oaks neighborhood. It comes out to $854 per square foot. In Hong Kong, $1.9 million affords you a 434 square foot, one bedroom, one bathroom condo. That's a punishing $4,377 per square foot. Young Kin Man is the founder, president, and chief technology officer of Beale Crystal. He and his wife, Lam Wei Ying, worth $8.9 billion collectively, are the suppliers of touch screens to Apple and Samsung. Beale employs 83,000 people around the globe. The company is looking to raise $2 billion in its initial public offering later on this year. The power couple recently bought a $360 million mansion on Pollock's Path in the esteemed Victoria Peak through Grand High Development, a real estate company they own. Young and Lam will be getting a $93 million refund on the stamp duty he paid on the property because they're planning to redevelop the 51,000 square foot property. Number one to three Pollock's Path boasts high ceilings, fireplaces, an outdoor pool, a children's play area, squash courts, and a gym. Francis Choi founded and is the current chairman of Early Light International, the world's largest toy maker. Spending long hours building up his business in the 1970s really paid off, as it's now worth $8.1 billion. He went from floor to floor teaching families how to make toys and paid them by the piece. Those families eventually made him king of toys, supplying the world with such joy bringers as Hot Wheels. With 25 million square feet of manufacturing space, Early Light now employs more than 40,000 workers. They supply toys for companies including Mattel Inc., Hasbro Inc., and Walt Disney Co. The company owns a lot of its main building materials, plastic. Francis has pulled $100 million from his own deep pockets to build a state-of-the-art bioplastic resin factory in Xiaoguan, China. 
The building will house a joint venture he set up with a U.S. firm to make environmentally friendly plastics, which are based on a bioplastic called New Plastic. Francis's wealth is anchored by his sprawling property portfolio. He has $2.3 billion worth of property in China and $2.7 billion in Hong Kong. His most famous asset is Kowloon City Plaza, a mega mall in the center of Hong Kong. Its lot was bought for $36.5 million in 1989, or $83.6 million today. During the financial crisis of 2008, Mr. Choi bought it for $188.9 million, a relative steal. Francis Choi has acquired full ownership of a prime office building in North Sydney after buying out the remaining 50% of the asset for $300 million. North Point Tower is a 44-story building that overlooks Sydney Harbor. Francis bought Hail Winner, a watch retailer, back in 2010. Francis himself has a collection of over 200 watches. He gave Hail Winner to his son Carson to run. That lucky duck married model and actress Irene Wang, worth a modest $1.5 million herself. Choi owns a 9% stake in publicly traded medical service provider Town Hall International Medical Group, which has a market cap of $2,709,000,000. Choi also has 5.6% of hotel operator Regal Hotel, which currently has a total market cap of $2,876,100,000. Mr. Choi has some life-size Hot Wheels of his own, as he parks a pair of $550,000 Rolls Royce Phantoms and twin black $102,000 Porsche 911s outside his Hong Kong headquarters, near the border with Shenzhen. That represents just a little less than 6% of his 70-car strong fleet. Billionaires visiting Hong Kong have the opportunity to stay at the ultra-modern Andrew Fu-designed upper house. The $4,200 per night, 1,960-square-foot penthouse is home to a sweeping panorama that encompasses the soaring skyscrapers of the city juxtaposed with the green rolling hilltops. The chic minimalistic rooms have a gorgeously classic design with light wood, dove-colored soft furnishings, and plenty of places to sit and admire the view. You even get to see the glorious glorious view of the city from the spa-inspired limestone bathrooms. What was once a walk-in closet has been fitted with a custom-built dry bar, stocked with the finest pours including Hennessy XO and Ruin Art Champagne, both worth around $200 a bottle. You can sip on the liquor while listening to the finest and snooty music playing from the Kef sound system. The high-end hi-fi British sound system is worth over 20 grand. Billionaires love dim sum but yearn for a more succulent experience. That's where the three Michelin star rated Lung King Heen restaurant comes in. The Four Seasons Hong Kong restaurant that has been called the best Chinese restaurant in the world. High praise. Order your $157 roasted picking duck six hours in advance and drink some $373 a bottle 2003 Krug champagne while you wait. Yum.